Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to... Now, I don't know what I'm going to call this, actually. I'll have to come up with some kind of title to say experimenting with pick a card or experimenting with the format of pick a card. I am in experimentation mode, guys. I have been coming up with ideas on how to reinvent pick a card and the reason I'm doing this there are lots of reasons I'll start with well I'll start with the reason of instructions I've got written here instructions from group three so if you remember from last week's group number three the instructions card of the Vedic astrology deck flew out and I didn't incorporate that into the reading but a couple of days later what happened to me is that I got all this download of wisdom and guidance and these questions and all this stuff was happening and I got the real sense that pick a card needs changing and I think we can make this so much better and we can create and invent our own format and that's what I really want to do here so with normal pick a card what we're doing is we're looking at me and we're looking at the outside world and we're drawing cards and we're saying oh it's to do with childhood or oh it's your partner or oh wow things are stressful at work or we're really going out and last time when I looked at the lessons you know I thought we really want to be bringing the wisdom in you know we don't want to be looking at the outside world so I started really thinking about all these things and what I came to is the reading that you're going to watch next. Now some of you will watch this little introductory video, some won't, that's fine, whatever it is. If you like a bit of behind the scenes stuff, I'm giving it to you. So yeah, I'm kind of showing my thought process here. What we're going to do, okay, this, this is what I want to do. I want to bring more lessons and more wisdom into this work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading that is just a collective general reading for everybody. So that means you won't get to pick from group one, group two or group three. It will just be a reading. But what we will have at the beginning of the reading is I've got these little segments and you'll see how this works um, when I record the reading in a moment. This works with as I shuffle, I'm going to play a clip of Lester Levinson. He's one of my spiritual teachers. I'm going to play a clip of him talking. And that is going to frame and set up the reading. I think this is going to be so much fun. And I think that, you know, each week, for example, like let's say if we like this format, I might even be able to do one per week. I don't know. I'll have to see how my energy is. Guys, um, I'm still not the most, you know, <laughs> robust or I still have health issues so um, let's see how I go uh, and that's also why I'm changing the format as well because uh, I just think this is going to be easier on me too because it is actually yeah tarot picker card is um, it's not the easiest thing like one of the questions that I want to explore in future readings is is tarot good for me is pick a card good for me what happens to my energy when part of a group does Harry clear up doubt? What are divination tools like? We can explore all of these things. Why does shadow exist? Why are there narcissists? Low self-worth versus being humble. Forgiveness. I want to do a forgiveness episode. But like in the new format, we'll be able to explore some of all of these things in an easier way. You'll see what I mean as you try the brand new reading style that I've got. And one of you in the comments below a very long time ago, and you're a very regular watcher, and yeah, thank you so much for your support over such a long time. You'd asked a br really brilliant question. This was many months ago. You'd asked about, um, you know, I want to explore more shadow. I want to explore. I want to understand. I want to learn. I want to, you know, and I've, since that comment came, I've always been wanting to explore that through the readings. But it can be a little bit difficult because pick a card is also supposed to be positive and a pick me up and you know so to learn difficult things is it the place for that yeah it's, it's an interesting one so let's see I mean with this new format 
you'll see I've got Lester Levinson in the jar and we'll have his audio as well. And that way we can explore a concept or an idea or we can learn something or, you know, and I think it's going to be more than just tarot. I kind of want it to be like a spiritual experience and that we're learning. And do you know what I really want it to be? I want it to be like the Eight of Cups card. Let's see if I can find an Eight of Cups card here. I really want it to be like that where we're packing our little backpack and we're going up the mountain together. And it's going to be an exploration and a journey and we learn something new each time. And if this model works, guys, who knows, I might even be able to get the strength to do it each week. I don't know. I, I'm not going to promise that because, yeah, my energy is um, sometimes it's not great. I'm just trying to look for the Eight of Cups card here. Oh, I can't find it, but it doesn't matter. Or the Hermit. Look at that. How fantastic. You know, we're, we're up on the mountain and we're taking some kind of journey. It's, it's like this. I want each episode to feel like a spiritual experience. And I think with the audio of a spiritual teacher at the beginning, I think that will just set things up really nicely. And then we can just go off into some kind of exploration together. So I think that is going to be really good. And guys, I hope that we can all see this as kind of like a graduation, kind of like a we've graduated from you know using pick a card as a spy tool to we're using it to grow we're using it to learn we're using it to connect with others I, I want to see can we change up the format look if it doesn't work then you know <laughs> I may go back to the other thing but equally every now and then the traditional pick a card I might it might make an appearance because next week, for example, I'm going out somewhere and maybe I'll do it outdoors. Maybe pick a card with the three groups works really well outdoors or something like that. So we'll see. I'm, I'm in a very experimental sort of a mode at the moment. So uh, bear with me and so let's see where we go with all this. I'm excited. I'm, ex I'm just excited to do something new, you know, and uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do something really fun and new. The, you, you'll see the format that we're going to do. I've never seen anyone else do this type of format with like the spiritual teacher audio and then me shuffling and then cards where we talk about what the spiritual teacher talked about. I haven't seen anyone do that. I do think this is something new. So yeah, but let me know in the comments below, uh, you know, your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, I want to thank you so much. So I'm going to Stop the video now and start recording the reading.